As students continue working with the Make 10 strategy, this 10 frame is here to help make it a little easier to see when they make 10. However, if they try and squish too much in here, they'll end up squishing in 11 or 12, and we really wanna just put 10 in here and the rest on the outside so that they can see the, the physical 10 they're making and then see the other part. So there's a lot of ways students might draw it, but you might pick, this is open circles and closed circles. You can use circles and X's. One, two, three, four, five. Even if you can fit another one in, we only wanna put five in this row. That helps us see 10 really easily. We wanna line those other ones up, six, seven, eight. Now we can do dark circles, nine, 10. And students that wanna count on for right now can count on, if that's easier for them, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. If that's an easier way for them to solve it at first, we can still uh, promote that and give them confidence in solving and then go back for right now if that's easier for them to say, okay, how do we make 10? We used two from our four to make 10 and we had two more. So we ended up with the same as 10 plus two equals 12. It, once students can do a little bit more than that, we can help them think through the make 10 strategy. A better way to help your child move to that is to say, okay, we already have eight. How many more will we need to make our 10? Oh, eight and two, I know that really fast. If they don't know what six is made of, two and what, you might just leave it at that and have them practice just knowing that part and then seeing what they'd have left. Okay, we have two, three, four, five, six. So what six made of two and four? They'll be practicing some of these sums within 10 and the differences as they do this work. And by the end of the year, we want them to have fluency with all of that. So this helps them work on it and still see, oh, eight and six is the same as 10 and four. So we have 14. And remember, no matter which way it is, we, can, we wanna start with our largest number. Eight, how many more to make 10? Oh, two. Let's think, seven is made of two and what? Two and five. So I know that that would be 15. And again, we can draw to show it and help make the connection between our number bond work and the fact that we're making 10 within make 10 strategy.